Hello again, this is Bhumika Singh for SME Futures and here are the top stories from this week. Just after a week of budget announcement, the RBI has increased repo rates for the sixth consecutive time, with 25 basis point, taking it to 6.5%. Well, this move was widely anticipated by industry stakeholders, who see it as an inevitable step towards making a balance between inflation moderation and growth. However, it will directly impact the EMI-driven housing sector, small and medium-scale businesses, and educational or personal loan borrowers. Amid the surge in lending rates, another challenge is waiting for the startup founders. Startup founders anticipate this year to be challenging as 58% of them expects a tough fundraising environment, said a report by Innovent Capital this Wednesday. Amid deepening funding winter, only 53% of startup founders had a positive fundraising experience in 2022, down from 92% in 2021. Not just this. Hiring is also expected to slow down with only 38% of startup founders expecting a higher pace of hiring predominantly in early stage companies. Now heading towards the good news, the Ministry of Finance has circulated a draft scheme for consultations with stakeholders to strengthen the ease of doing business. The scheme is aimed at bringing quick finality to certain contractual disputes in which the Government of India or its agencies are litigant. The draft scheme has been framed under the announcement made by Union Finance Minister in the Union Budget 2023-24. The draft scheme document also provides a broad functionality that the GEM portal shall provide to implement the scheme. In a digital discussion held today with the Managing Director of IMF, the Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman urged to develop a globally coordinated approach for the regulation of crypto assets. FM held a conversation with the Managing Director of International Monetary fund to discuss the upcoming G20 finance ministers and central bank governors meeting, scheduled to be held in Bengaluru later this month. Sita Raman also thanked IMF for the support that it had been providing to the G20 Indian Presidency on various work streams under the G20 finance track. For more such updates, keep watching SMEs this week every Friday.